Lovely. Score it. Oh, what a save. I like how you let him score sometimes to make it feel good. Feel better. Yeah. I know. I don't know. No. They don't mean anything, Mark. Yeah, they don't mean anything. Let's see the old black thing. They're a resting place. It's not a, it's not, that's not where goals go. It's just a resting place. Okay. Uh, we'll in the corner, way. that's where they dump it in, so I don't like having too many because sometimes they... They get in the way? Fine. It's all right. We're good. We're good. See, watch. Here. Put it in your own... Just throw it in there. Put it in there? Yeah. I'll get into that. I'll get into that. That's all. I'm Seconds to go, a power play goal. You got it, Chief. Hey! Jeff protecting the puck, turns the fire, rebound, great save by Flurry. Good save, Mark. Simmons is robbed by Flurry with the glove. 87, 87, 87. They would score. That's right, Sidney Crosby again. Rebound only matter. He's got his first NHL goal. Oh, buy Sam a drink and get his dog one too. The Penguins were chugging along, winning seven of their first eight games, and rookie defenseman Ole Mata was becoming a mainstay. But whether or not he'd stay was becoming the main question. We were getting close to the 10 game mark, which would start his entry level contract. Uh, I didn't really think about it. I, 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 I couldn't really say I, I didn't think about it. I feel like I was nervous after a game, not before a game. But that's something I've never had before, that I'd be more nervous after a game than before a game. The 19-year-old had played his ninth NHL game. Before the next one, a decision would need to be made. Remain a Penguin or return to juniors. It was a tough decision for the Penguins. With one of the deepest blue lines in the NHL, they could afford to wait another year but patience isn't always a virtue. Shiro and Coach Bosma just asked me to uh, go to a room with them before practice. I was pretty nervous. You know, I, knew, I, I knew exactly what was it was it about. He was a little nervous coming in for the meeting, um, and he was uh, real excited about hearing the news that he was going to be playing his 10th game the next night. Yeah, I was happy. The whole team, the team staff, they've been helping me a lot. You know, They know what I'm going through, and they're a really big help for me. I'm not the first rookie here. Nor was he the last. It was a week before Halloween, and while kids in Pittsburgh were designing their costumes, Pittsburgh's newest kid, Jason Magna, would soon be joining them. Halloween sweater, shirt, or something to the rank at all times. Five days of Halloween gear. You're out. Oh, there's two. Now it's two. Jason was in the final mix there. Then you just kind of were hoping that Jason didn't wind up with the Halloween garb for five days. It was either me or him. Mags, pull out your move. 
Magna with a chance to win it. Walks in and scores! Jason Magna buries it. Oh. Uh-oh. Five days on the road. Someone's got to help him out a little bit. You need to give him some help. He's probably got five pieces of clothing on him. Just so you know, you're still going somewhere in the fifth to sixth range for us. Okay, so shoot out. You're still going. You're not going to beat out 36 or 87 or 71. But you're still in the, don't, you're still in the mix for four through six. But, but you do have to wear some Halloween. Did any of the guys uh, take you Halloween shopping yesterday? They sure did. You got something, you got something tonight? I got some good stuff here after the game. There's no masking the fact that the Penguins, once again, were riddled with injuries. Rookie forward Jason Megna was called up to help fill the void. You never want to see anybody get injured, but when you get the opportunity, you don't really think twice about it. So I got to come to work every day, enjoy it, have fun with it, love being in the NHL. It's, you know, it's a dream come true, but at the same time, I'm fighting for my job and I'm fighting for a spot on this team. Fighting for a job is nothing new for the Magna surname. Jason's father, Jay, spent four years in the NFL doing the same thing. If your parents play in the symphony, you have a real good chance of, of playing an instrument in the symphony when you're growing up. My dad wouldn't let us play football until I was in high school, so I ended up only playing one year in high school, and by that time it was already too late. That type of conditioning in his life, he's seen it, lived it, been a part of it, and I think ready to step into a big stage and play in the National Hockey League. Luckily for the Penguins, the stage Magna chose was covered in ice and set for his NHL debut. What I want to see after the game, and the one you guys make it easy on me, because every day, after every game, I got to grade you guys. And it's a hell of a lot easier to write threes and fours than it is than twos and twos and fives. So threes and fours out of everybody. We've had a great week, okay? We're finding a way tonight to put together a full 60 minutes of energy. Everybody jumping over the boards, can't wait to get on the ice and do your thing. And playing for one another. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Threes and fours. Wow. That's a four right there. Oh, that's got a four. Yeah. <laughs> Right point, holds it, patiently shoots it, it's deflected, stopped by Zach Hoff, but it goes off his body behind him, and in the net, the Islanders have scored. See where Tavares was on the power play there? See how he, he's at the top of the circle, he's in? That's what you got to try to get in more. So you don't get stuck on the boards, you want to be you want to be in so you can get a better angle to shoot at. Paulie has to get the middle and let you come off the wall so you can attack there. Try to... Oh, try to move, like be more deliberate. Like don't just stand there and you know like skate, fake, turn. Oh, it's curious. It's three on two. I'm gonna No, I'm I'm gonna stay with you, so like I'm not gonna beat anyone if you give it to me. He processes it so fast compared to the rest of us, so he sees things that we don't. A lot of credit for, for him being able to see those things, and then you just gotta go out there and try to make your next shift the better one. The leadership of Sidney Crosby on the field, general leading type of mentality and mindset. You know, I hear it every game. I think he's really grown tremendously in that regard over the last four or five years. In all the years he's played, there were still a few battles the general hadn't won. Sidney Crosby had never scored a regular season goal on Islanders' netminder of getting to Bakoff. Oh, good play, Cooney. With the score tied at one, the captain broke through, cracking the tie and the goalie he never could. Hey, come back up like another few feet to the deep so you can get some speed. Just skate onto it. They're not they're gonna give us that. Two, one go! Thomas and Crosby. Here comes Sid. Closing in. I didn't know what you were talking about. I was like, why would I want the puck? Because you know something that I don't know. 
Only took me eight years to score a regular season goal on him. Eight years? Let's make it count, Eagle. Let's make it count. Joe Vitale down the wing. Centers in front. Derek Engel scores! The depth and defense led to Derek Engelin trying his hand at forward. But it was a defensive lapse that handed the Islanders the game. The Islanders answer to make it 3 3. Centered in front. Oh, what a save by Zadkoff. He robbed Josh Bailey who puts it in. Woo! Josh Bailey with a great second effort, and the Islanders take a 4 3 lead. The end of October was approaching, and while some Penguins were getting in the spirit, they weren't in good ones. A three-game losing streak had Pittsburgh craving a win. Here's Magnum shooting and a good save by Peters, rebound, score! Crosby with a shot, score! Jason Magna gets his first NHL goal! Tonight I'll never forget, my parents were there also. First NHL point on an assist, and then I got my first goal. Uh, off my shin pad later on in the game and to be able to help them win games is very special to me. The kid had three or four points that game too. That was awesome for him. And yeah, it was big for us to get the losing streak done. We needed to get back in the win column with that type of game and we got there with uh, that game winning goal in Carolina. Up next, the defending Eastern Conference champions. It had been 145 days since Boston eliminated Pittsburgh from the playoffs, but the intensity lacked interruption. That game was like playoff hockey. The rivalry is strong. And have to replay that in our minds until we win again, and hopefully that'll be this season. While the shades of black and gold have changed for some, these teams are likely to shadow one another all season. Come on, stop at home. Let's go. Thunderbird trying to get by Latang. Oh, and then a stick came up. It might have been Latang following through, and he clipped Dupuis. Yeah, I broke all my teeth again. Everyone. I just pushed him back. Okay. Pull the one out. Hey! It's on the post. Take it out so you don't swallow it. All right. I mean, another one out there. I'm not gonna lie, dude. That's not pretty. You gotta go gold. left in the third. Now we're back to full strength. Right side of center, around the man. Coming to the net. Yeah! Oh, yeah, the Penguins lead 2-1. What a shot, babe. What a shot. I love you, man. Ronnie lost it. Picked his, picked his bucket at Jokinen. He shoots and scores. You see Jokinen. Penguins lead 3-1. Be able to be patient in that game and grind that game out. A big win for our team, a big game for our team to see Brandon Sutter get sprung by Pascal Dupuy to get that goal was huge. It was a really intense game, but you know, as a hockey player, you enjoy playing those games. Duper's a tough guy and a warrior and he didn't miss a shift, kind of the epitome of a hockey player. This morning we're going to get in, get the locker room all prepped before uh, anyone gets there, and then we'll prep for uh, Columbus for tonight. They're doing everything from skate sharpening to laundry to unpacking, loading things, waiting for guys to get out of the rink so they can set up everything for the next day. I was taught a long, long time ago by a former coach, Steve Carlson, famously of the Hanson brothers, to say the equipment manager should always be the first one in. The first one's there, the last one's to leave. I've done this a long time. Been lucky to be married for 10 years to a great wife. It's never easy for her with the, the travel and the hours. I thought I'd be like an architect or something like that. Next thing you know, I'm working in the East Coast Hockey League. Five teams, made $105 a week. Now it's 2013 and I'm 
in Pittsburgh. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's hard to tell where things end and where they begin for the equipment staff. A home-at-home -home series with the Columbus Blue Jackets signaled the start of what essentially would be a 45-hour workday for Dana Heinze and his crew. Starting the day off on the right foot was crucial, even if it was just the first in a laundry list full of tasks. The words attention and detail fit perfect with us. Square blade, it's a good thing. They do the heavy lifting and they pretty much just, you know, let us focus on playing hockey and I think that that's huge. The hours might look crazy, but I'm sure there's a million people that would love to be standing here today. From the hours to the details to the preparation that they provide for the individual guys for our team. A little bit more, more you know. All right, I'll go three, how about if we go three and a half? Yeah. All right, so I'll work on three and a half. It's just his toe area. He wants it lower, and we're cutting it down slower because he'll give me feedback after warm-up if we have it right. And if not, we'll continue to take a little more. We want to set things up and have everything perfect every time, whether it's a practice day or it's a game day, whether a player's here for one game or 1,500 games. You know what, we, we want to be consistent and do the same thing. And I think that pays off in the end. We did something a little different with Gino today to the toes of his skates made a little adjustment. Hopefully that works perfect for him. Otherwise, we'll be fixing them after warm-ups. All right, Gino's good. I'm done. We're here if they need us. Now we stay out of, the, out of their way, let them do their job, let them play the game. If they have any needs, they'll come to us, you know? Let them play the game. We don't, we're not involved. Sharp now. You all right for the rest of the period? A little less now. Bar took the penalty. Marks it's yeah! deflected in. Chris Cunnett's got a stick on it right there in front of the goal. One nothing Pittsburgh. One down. Here we go. All right. Let's go. Centers for Magna, he fanned on a yoga to the puck. Magna, he scores! Jason Magna! Attaboy, Meg. Great play, Gino. Five to go. And the Penguins will win the first of two against the Jackets. Pittsburgh four, Columbus two. There it is. Good day in there. The day wasn't over. The team left after the game to fly to Columbus, hoping to sweep the home and home series. The road trips are always great. Um, and staying in some really nice hotels. It's always nice to be on the road with the guys. People always recognize him, and then I just have my mustache and my black car. I think they think I'm his driver. <laughs> they always say, hey, can, you take a, can you take a picture of us? <laughs> to play with some of the players that I've been playing with is kind of surreal to me. It was in Wilkes-Barre a week and a half ago. Kind of a dream come true. Do you feel any different shooting a puck in the net as opposed to getting it shot off the end of the net? Yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> The plane landed around midnight, roughly 19 hours after Dana Heinze started his shift. And as the team headed to the hotel, the equipment staff headed to the rink. First ones in, last ones out.
Yeah, it's Sutsy here. Sitting right there. Go, 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 go! Here's the valley over to England. He shoots and scores. Barry England. Shot Angle. Let go. My blood. Angle. Just like we practiced. That was nice. Really nice. Jeff Zatkoff has his first National Hockey League shutout, and the Pittsburgh Penguins take two from the Jackets. My man. Hey! 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 Success in the NHL is measured by wins and losses. And behind each measure of success is a good team, both on and off the ice, working toward a common goal. Teddy, new hotel in Columbus, it's a block away. It's still a tough call. When it's really late, since we're really early starters, it sometimes just doesn't make sense to hop in a cab and go back to the hotel and for three hours when you can just sleep at the rink with a blanket and a, a towel or something. You, know, you have to call for a cab, wait for them to show up, the distance to the hotel, and then repeat that in the morning. So that's all the sleep that you're actually losing.